This is Carl at Dashlar RV Detroit, and I'm going to walk you through this uh, Berkshire motorhome. It's a Model 40C. Now, this is not a floor plan video. I'm going to just show you some of the features and how they work, okay? When it comes to the chassis features and the front end, uh, we'll, uh, we'll show you that when you come to pick up. This is just going to touch on some, uh, some of the other features, okay? So we have storage, plenty of storage the baggage compartments. That of course is the piece that hangs on the back. It's like a mud flap. They give you some extra floor tiles just in case one gets damaged. You can always repair them. Um, these are your, this is a, first of all, this is a pull-out tray. It slides right out. But they give you um, a hose kit for your central vacuum. With it, okay? Dump hose right there. Uh, better not. Uh, this is water here. I don't know. I, I'm not sure what the valves will have to. You'll have to talk to the mechanic when, when, when you pick up. Those look like uh, drain valves. They come out underneath, so I better not give you false information. So I'll just shut up. station onto here and you uh, um, turn it on it'll spray out the inside of the black tank and it'll clean off the sensor so you get a good accurate reading that sort of thing so like it says on the sticker always make sure the valve is open before you uh, turn on the water this is just a simple selector uh, you can go from city water which is the most common way to get water to this you just hook the hose up here you have it on city water and there's no problem um, you can flip it over here and fill the tank, right? And uh, if you're camping someplace that doesn't have any city water hookups, you can fill your fresh water tank and pump the water right out of the tank. So that's where you select this at, right there. Okay. And you have a hand set to spray it off. This will be cleaned up for you. Okay.
That's your your vacuum there, your central vacuum. The other side of this pull-out storage tray. The other side of your mud mud flap and uh, those extra tiles. And your water heater. Okay. Well, let's go inside. Okay, so, let's look around here a bit. There's your stabilizing system. It's got an automatic uh, leveling system. Now, uh, they have different, different uh, safeties on them. This one most likely has to have the emergency brake on, but we'll, we'll talk about that when you pick up. Um, okay. Your uh, system here, which they'll, they'll go over this with uh, all the options with your, your panel. Okay. Like I said, they'll go over the chassis part with you when, when we pick up, or you pick up, I'm sorry. Let's see what we have here. It slides in. Touch to unlock. So, slides. Um, The slides are hydraulic. Okay. Uh, your bed slide. Sofa and wardrobe slide. She's right here. Basically the whole wall, it's a huge slide. There you have it. Living room lights. Kitchen ceiling lights. Okay. Okay, so let's look around here. So obviously your TV has a... Storage beneath it, or behind it, there's also a safe back there. Your fireplace um, has a heater, built-in heater, and that sort of thing. We got the we got the generator going, so this should work. It works, an, it works on AC power. There you have it. So here you can see zero zero, then you see low and high. That's the fan speed. Okay, so. Um, it does have a fan in it, it really kicks out the heat. You also can change the, uh, uh, let's see this right here. Some of the other features on it, you have a timer, that sort of thing, okay. Here we have uh, uh, a matrix, and we have uh, a lot of, he's got a lot of the remotes in here too. We got, it looks like a disc player, okay. Sound bar. Well, we're down here. This is the carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green like it is. If it's, if it's not green, get it serviced. That's a port for your vacuum. Okay. Okay. 
I only have a half hour to get this done so before it starts a new file so I got to pick up the pace a bit here oh, there we go so you have a cooktop convection cooktop or induction cooktop I'm sorry uh, dishwasher convection microwave your sofa let's see what it does here it looks like a jackknife I believe yeah well there's a there's a hide a bed in there anyway so it does fold into a bed you can also drop the table down here and uh, turn this into a bed you have some slide locks for it they'll go over there with you when you pick up a nice size a really nice size AC refrigerator now that the inverter that you saw, that inverter uh, is does one thing basically, it inverts the refrigerator. So the refrigerator can run off a 12 volt uh, if need be, okay? Alrighty. Two bunks of course, more TVs, two more TVs, a ladder, half bath here. Uh, let's find some lights here. Um, now, as with, with the toilet, all toilets in an RV are over a black tank, right? So, the idea is, when you get to that where you're going, you uh, hook up your power and your water, of course. You can see there's antifreeze in there, but you'll, you'll come in here, you'll put a dose of chemical in each toilet, then you'll step on the flush pedal and hold it down until at least a gallon of water goes into the black tank along with the chemical. You can use more, you know, more water, but not less than a gallon. Then it's all set ready to go. If you don't do that, that's considered using it dry. And if you do that, um, it'll get clogged up one thing, the other thing it'll smell super bad. So you always need chemical and water in there. Really nice span, looks like a three speed. Okay, so another TV, of course, your bedroom, pretty much self-explanatory. So let's see this, what's back there, okay. Um, your master bathroom, which is obviously really nice, very nice. So the sink and shower work like any other sink and shower, of course. You got the same type of... Uh, a fan that you have in the other one you can operate the lid and the rest of it from here uh, your your toilet flush here this is a super deluxe toilet here this is uh, that's top of the line of it of course it's not just your average toilet okay of course you have an emergency window here ceiling fan, the rest of the stuff is pretty much self-explanatory, but that gives you a little idea of what uh, what everything is and and uh, how it works. You have remotes here, or a remote here for your for your fan in here. So it's a very, very, very complete, well thought out motorhome for sure. So, okay, so when you come to pick up, we'll go over the rest with you. We'll drive it with you or whatever, whatever they've told you that we're going to do. Um, I'm not, I wasn't part of that, so um, you can watch this video to refresh your memory on a few things to learn a little bit more about it. And uh, we'll, like I said, when you pick up, we'll go over it. Uh, you always want your seals inspected on this trailer, this motorhome. I mean, any place you see, um, any place you see sealant from the factory, you want to check that out. Make sure there's no water can get through. Uh, on the roof, you can check it every 90 days for for um, damage caused by, let's say, low branches or road debris flying up there. It's good to check out your roof on a regular basis just so you know what's happening up there because you can't see it from the ground, obviously, so someone has to look. So please make that part of your regular maintenance. And um, right now this is winterized, so it's, it's set for the rest of the winter, okay? Thank you very much.